activism needs to be about keeping these commandments. This is not what I expected out of them. The true Bible, the book of our father. Right. The most High has given us guidance on what we need to do. Talk to Eli. Talk to my son. Talk to Yikia. He sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destructions. Mm. Read that again. Read it again. Then they cry unto the Lord in their trouble. And that's what we have. We, you know, we, we're crying out justice, no peace, whatever the case may be. You know, uh, the mother is, is crying for her son. You know, she, 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 she's, she's scratched out. She, 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 she's going through trauma. It's not even normal. Captivity ain't normal. Uh, in spite of what you think and stuff like that, because you can go in a grocery store and pretty soon they're gonna you're gonna stop you from going in a grocery store too. I'm telling you, you you gonna have to, everything gonna be a la carte at the grocery store. You have to pick it up. I'm telling you, they they, they it's get ready to get it's get ready to get worse. It's not gonna get no better. It's about to go down. It's not gonna get no better. So read that again from the top. Then they cry unto the Lord in their trouble. And we 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 we're in trouble here. Read. And he saved them. Out of their distress. He brought us over here to repent and get our minds right. Now we know that there's destruction here that's going to come here. He's going to deliver us from this destruction. He's going to stay, but how is he going to do it? Read on. He sent his word and healed them. That's how he's going to get, get us out of this trouble. That's how we're going to escape the destruction. It's only through the word of the most high. I'm telling you, that's the path. That's the only path that's going, that's going to be right for us, Israel. That's the path that we must take to be healed, to be delivered, to be, be brought up out of this place. This is a living hell. This is not normal. Uh, you know, when you look at, at the whole thing, it just, it just doesn't, it just, you know, it shouldn't sit right with you. If you, you know, comfortable here, then you need to check your spirit. I'm telling you straight. I'm telling you. It, it just, this, not, this is not a way of life. It's not. Yeah, we're in, the, we're in the land of our captivity. That's where we are. We're in the land here. We, 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 this is not home. We, when we looked at it and stuff like that, we could build our people up. That's what it was talking about. That's what Rudolph Winslow was talking about. When you can build your people up, you can build your nation up. But when you're not able to do that, they, they divide and conquer you. That's not living. That's surviving. Right. But that's what we're doing. You, you're not done with that, are you? Uh, is that all of it? Uh, verse 20. Read 20 again. Yes, sir. He sent his word and healed them uh -huh. and delivered them from their destructions. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay. The, uh, it's a point I wanted to make. I, I want, uh, read, read that again. He sent his word and healed them. He said he sent his word. So what's, what's God's word? The Bible, you know, showing us how to live, keep, keeping his laws. So he said he sent his word and healed them. Read. And delivered them from their destruction. From their destruction. In so many words, the Lord is saying that, your destruction is only it's going to come from you you know you it's just a it's like it's like a um cause and effect you you break god's laws you live unrighteously then you're going to be destroyed it just it, it goes together i want to get a script though that shows the same thing go to isaiah 6 and 9 cuz it said he sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destruction why why the destruction because they broke they broke his his laws. So read that six and nine. Isaiah, it, it is an example of the Lord doing that. Read Isaiah chapter six verse nine. Uh huh. And he said, "Go and tell this people, hear ye indeed. They hear, but understand not. But they don't understand. Read on. And see ye indeed. They see, but perceive not. But they'll never understand what's happening to it. They don't perceive what's going on around them. Read." Make the heart of this people fat. So the Lord is giving the commands to make these things happen to our people. Read on. And make their ears heavy. So he's like, make, don't let them get the understanding. He doesn't want us to get the understanding. Read on. And shut their eyes, uh -huh. lest they see with their ear, with their eyes, and hear with their ears. He said, so they don't understand. Read. And understand with their heart. He didn't want them to understand their mind, what they supposed to do. Read on. And convert. And be healed. And be and do what? And be healed. So when you convert and you come back to the Bible, then the Lord's going to heal you. So at this point, he didn't want that to happen. So when we read that, he said, 
He sent his word and healed them. Why? Now we know the Lord has sent his word. Mm -hmm. Now we're seeing our people being healed. Mm -hmm. He's healing us. Read on. And it says, and delivered them from their destruction. Meaning because we, he sent the word now. So we don't no longer have to live in sin. We know the right way to go. So now the Lord has uh, been converted us and healing us. All praise for that thing. Though. I, I, I tell you, officer, that, 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 that's far right there. Because, you know, I, I sat there, I was looking at a couple of the notes. It says that there are sickness. And there are uh, issues that's among our people. There's no, there's no escaping that. And 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 in the condition that we're in, the the word of God is the medicine. It is the healing balm that we need. And so it, it goes into the fact that you know we're in a place where we need to re, as, as we return. And what you was talking about, officer, I just touch on that. So let us look at some of our problems. We got problems. We, we we're trying to get there. Uh, let us get the book, uh, if we would. Uh, Show the book of uh, Dr. Joy. Mm -hmm. Degree? Yes, sir. <laughs> Let's get a book. Can we bring that up? Let's get a book. This sister right here, she's uh, uh, talked about our conditions. She has a good hand on it. I, um, she talks about it. She knows the condition of, of what, uh, you know, she goes into some of the reasons why we are in the condition that we're in, and she touches on those things. That's the book. Let's go inside of it. Read it at the top. We'll start there where that line is. Let's, let's do that. Yes, sir. Page 113, Joy DeGuri, Post-Traumatic Slave Syndrome. Mm -hmm. What are the impacts of generations of slavery and oppression on a people? Stop right there. That, that, that right there is, is, is telling you that your mama, daddy, daddy, whatever, it goes back generational. So the problem that you have in the day in your city it goes way back. It goes back two or three generations. That's the that's the impact on the. What is the impact on the people? Read on. In order to begin to understand the magnitude of this legacy on contemporary African Americans, and it goes on to say now it's a legacy. When you go generation, generation, generations, you have problems. Then it becomes the leg the the, the legacy has been having problems in it the whole time. That's what, that's what I've been saying, that it's not normal. Captivity is not normal. We can't, we can't put, I can't put that and sit there and say it's normal to, to be mistreated, where it affected me, my mother, my, my mother's mother, and it goes farther back or whatever. Or it affected my father, affected my father, affected them. It's, that's not normal. And that goes into generations of that. That's a lot. That's a lot of problems that people have been having. They never got no help. That's why uh, Lamentation said that we're, we, we, we're searching out the people that won't even help us, mm -hmm. you know? Got me, got me thinking about the video you just pulled up about them taking out the mental, mentally ill people out mm -hmm. the street, you know? Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Read that, I'll let you finish it. In order to begin to understand the magnitude of this mm -hmm. legacy on contemporary African Americans, mm -hmm. it is important to examine the diagnostic characteristics of trauma. What are the effects of trauma on human beings? Mm. What does trauma look like? Mm. How does trauma manifest itself? So let's see what trauma looks like. It says, what, read, that, read that again like I'm talking about what it looks like. Yes, sir. Read that part again. What are the effects of trauma on human beings? Uh -huh. What does trauma look like? Mm -hmm. How does trauma manifest itself? Mm -hmm. So it says, what does it look like? How does it manifest itself? So give me the video. Give us the video, please, of mental health top of mind. Give us that video. Like him, you hold, you hold that what you got. Go to uh go to page 114. Yes, sir. Now, here's the video that we're gonna play. It said mental health top of mind. Let's see who's having mental health issues. Let's see what it does. What was that? Do you read that part again, like what did you say? What it what it looks like, how to yes, identify it? What was that? What are the effects of trauma on What human is the beings? effect of trauma? What else? What does trauma look like? What does trauma look like? That's it? How does trauma manifest itself? How are we able to see when it's manifested? Play the video. Mental health is top of mind for many people as we prepare for the release of the body cam video. CBS 2's Jesse Mitchell spoke with experts about coping with trauma. But for me to find out that my son was calling my name and I was only your feet away and but did not even hear him, you have no clue how I feel right there. Stop it right there. That's the point, Israel. That's what we don't understand, that the effects or things that people are going through. 
We don't even know. She, she's trying to describe a feeling that she, she can't even identify with. What she talks about, they, they rubbing her back. Uh, sister, you know, they know she lost her son and all that. All that's true. What she's talking about, you don't know what I'm feeling. You don't know what I don't know. She, she's describing things, she, and it's, this is what, how trauma is manifested, through the loss of a son. That's how, that's how it comes out. You, you, you don't know what to look for. And, and when you see or, or went through something uh, perhaps in your own personal life, hell, it could be you going down the road and the police get behind you. That's he. You trauma. You think you're gonna get? You gonna? You know? Am I gonna get pulled over? If they gonna shoot me? Mm -hmm. You know? You you sitting over there as a student trying to get a student loan, and and they they, they deny you the loan, or you sitting there trying to get a business loan, they deny you. That that's trauma. You like? Well, you know? I got a good score. What's the problem? Why they didn't give me? Why they wouldn't help me? Yeah. Why didn't let me in into the school? That's trauma. Yeah. That's not normal. Read that, back that up again. Back that video up. Back it up. That's good. Start right there. I want to get back to the mother. But for me to find out that my son was calling my name and I was only your feet away and did not even hear him, you have no clue how I feel right now. No clue. Stop it the right pain there. of Tyre. The, the for what she experienced, and that's the whole thing that what we don't understand, there's an undertone for us as a people. We don't know the line issues that we have. We don't know how to identify them. And, and what it is that we sit there and say, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm like this, I'm like that. But really there's a, 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 a racial stressors that we have to deal with, and we don't know how to identify them. We can't, you know, that's why we was talking about the scriptures when we bring it out, that the scriptures is the thing that helps us. The, the scriptures is going to be the thing that heals us, man. Mm -hmm. Because in this captivity, bro, we need it. you know, this right here, these, there's, these are mothers taking a number and line up. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you. These cities are paying out, these cities are paying 13, 16, 17. They don't care. They'll pay anything out. But I'm telling you, to them, it's, it's worth one, 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 I'm telling you, one, one body. I'm telling you, man, that thing is crazy, man. This is not normal. And hey, that sister felt that thing. Hey, Cap, she's saying that she don't know, uh, she don't, she, everybody don't know how she feel. But the most high know how she feel. Can we get Leviticus uh, 26? What's that? Leviticus 26 and verse, start at verse 15. And y'all been touching it, y'all been touching on it all night. We're mm -hmm. supposed to be keeping the commandments. That's what's going to stop this affliction. That's what's going to stop this feeling that this sister's uh, feeling right now. Uh, everything that's going on in our communities, what's going to stop it? The Word of God. Like you've been saying, Cap, the Bible is what's going to heal us. Mm -hmm. Without the Bible, we ain't got nothing but problems, chaos, and destruction in our communities. And you see it all over the news. There's always our people that has the worst right. trauma going right. on. All right, go ahead and read that. Start at verse 15. Leviticus chapter 26, verse 15. Uh-huh. And if ye shall despise my statutes, or if your soul abhor my no, judgments. Uh, where did I say start at? 15, 15. Yes, sir, that's 15. Okay, yes, sir. read it again. Yes, sir. Leviticus chapter 26, verse 15. Uh-huh. And if ye shall despise my statutes, uh -huh. or if your soul abhor my judgments. We see it all the time in our communities. Our people despise God's uh, statute, law statutes of communities. They don't want to get married. They don't want to take care of their kids. They're selling drugs. They're murdering one another, beating each other to death. Read on. So that ye will not do all my commandments, uh -huh. but that ye break my covenant. So the Most High God saying, if you break my covenant, I'm going to do these things to you. You're going to have affliction. You're going to think people don't know how you're feeling, but the Most High God know how you feel. He, know what he, he knows what he's about to put you through for your disobedience. But because they don't read, Cap, they don't, they don't know. Go ahead, read on. I will also do this unto you. What is he going to do to us? I will even appoint over you terror. You get pulled over in the middle of the night. Uh, three houses down from your own house and, and, and you lose your life. That's terror. That's trauma. Now you got trauma on your, your family, trauma on your mom. They, they don't know what to do. These people were supposed to protect and serve us. These people look like us. But because they don't know that Christ looked like us because they're not reading their Bible, they don't know God looked like us, they're willing to murder their own brothers. Right. They don't want to do nothing to the... They buy these guns, talking about the, the, young, the young Thundercats out here. They buy these guns. And who do who you think they're going to use them on? They don't use them on the other nations. They use them on us because they don't know the word of God. Go ahead, read on. I will even appoint over you terror. I'm going to appoint over you terror. All right, read on. Consumption. Uh-huh. And the burning alg. Uh-huh. That shall consume the eyes. Uh-huh. 
And cause sorrow of heart. And cause what? Sorrow of heart. Because you don't want to keep God's laws, now you got sorrow of heart. That's what you're seeing right here on this news clip that Kevin DeCar is showing. She has sorrow of heart. She has terror. She's, uh, she has trauma because they don't want to keep God's laws. Read on. I just want you to read uh, uh, to verse 17. And ye shall sow your seed in vain, uh -huh. for your enemy shall eat it. So you shall have you shall have a seed. Uh, go ahead, read on. That's not the part I want. Go ahead, read and on. And I will set my face against you, and ye shall be slain before your enemies. You see that? The Most High said because of your disobedience, he's going to set his face against you. All right? He's setting his face against Israel. And in that, they're being afflicted. And... The only way they're going to be able to uh, come back is by returning to the Bible, learning who they are. Without the Bible, they, we have nothing. All right, Cap, I'll start right there. No, no, go ahead, Cap. You got something you want to touch oh, on? Yeah, I'm going to praise this, officer. Um, uh, get that in um, Proverbs chapter 15, verse 13, because you said, what does trauma look like? What does trauma look like? Let's read this. Proverbs chapter 15, verse 13. A merry heart, excuse me. A merry heart maketh a cheerful countenance, mm -hmm. but by sorrow of the heart, the spirit is broken. But by sorrow of the heart, the spirit is broken. You know, I've, I've heard it said, and I've been close to it with some of my family members, that there's nothing worse than losing your child. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you can see, you can feel uh, what she's going through. But unfortunately, this is, this is normal in our communities. Yep. Everybody don't experience this like we do. Mm -hmm. That's it. Uh, go back, uh, if we would, let's go back to the to the book, Dr. George's book again. Yes, sir. Um, that's, these all help. Go ahead. Like, yes, sir. There. At the top, second mm -hmm. sentence, these all help clinicians with making accurate diagnoses. However, it is not necessary for an individual to show evidence of all of the listed symptoms to warrant being diagnosed with specific illness. Read. The following are lists of some of the conditions which give rise to mental and or emotional traumas that justify the diagnosis of PTSD. So let's see if, 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 that, if his mother had that. Read the bullet points. Yes, sir. A serious threat or harm to one's life or physical integrity. Boom. Mm. There it is right there. There it is right there. I'm telling you, that, that's what she's going through. She's dealing with that. And our people deal with it all the time, and we think it's normal. It, hell, it's not normal. It's not, it's not normal. Read on. A threat or harm to one's children, spouse, or close relative. So she mm -hmm. lost her son. Yeah, it you, is. You're not going to go through nothing? You're going to go through. You're going you're gonna to go through. And there's other things. It said that they couldn't even list everything. Hell, we, we named a few of my staff. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> you know? But go down to where it says uh, stressors. Yes, sir. Stressor is experienced with intense fear, terror, and helplessness. You're going through trauma. Like I said, you're trying to get a loan. Uh, you're trying to get into a school. You know, you're trying to start a business. You know what I mean? You know, just, just simple things like that. You go through these stressor points, and when you experience, you know, just helplessness, you can't even get the things that you need to just try to better yourself. Mm -hmm. You go through that. You know, you, you, you know, like, and we always say, you all right? You know, mm -hmm. we ask. But they, they be having a hard time. Everybody sit there and say, you know, um, I, I'll be okay. But they, they have to go through that. That's, that's tough. Read the other one, stressors and disorders, what? Yes, sir. Stressor and disorder is considered to be more serious and will last longer when the stressor is of human design. Wow, like uh, her son getting killed, right, for an example. That was the point. That was the point. Yeah, Cap, because the Lord, when he put the Deuteronomy 28 curses on us, it said that he sent our enemies against us. So it's of human it's, it's of human hands mm -hmm. that we suffer. It's not like, a oh, the wind blew over my... No, you, you know it's another person that did it to you. That thing, it says it hurts more, according to the psychologists and so forth. And the Lord, he, he knew that. So when he punished us, that's how he made it happen, too. Shoot. You know... Uh, we just want to follow, you know, what Dr. Joel was talking about and trying to get an understanding of what she was trying to show us in her book. There's a lot in there, and we just wanted to touch on it because we, we don't, we're not able to understand a lot of the conditions that we with, that we ourselves, we can't, we can't self-evaluate our own conditions in things like this. You know, it's only when things like this happen to us is when these stressor points come out. And a lot of us trust in the system that we have here 
that would never help us. We do trust in this system. Mm -hmm. uh, and so uh, give me Chirac 12 and 10. Let's go there. The book of Ecclesiasticus, mm -hmm. Sirach, chapter 12 mm -hmm. and verse 10. Mm -hmm. Never trust thine enemy, for like as iron rusteth, so is his wickedness. Don't trust in this system, Israel. Don't trust in these people. Don't trust in what we have. Don't, don't find your, your strength to be the things that you, you are, uh, uh, that, that, that makes you able with what you are or that title that you have. Don't trust in this system. This, trust me, this system is failing, and it's, it's failing a lot of people on a, a lot of our people on a lot of levels, and because that's what they've done, they they think that they, this is home or, or this is where they can be credited or or, or given some kind of um, uh, title here or whatever the case may be. But a lot of people get caught up in there. So the Bible says, don't trust in this system. Don't do that. Don't trust in these people. This, like I said, the condition that we ourselves are in. You know, we got to be able to evaluate with ourselves in the condition that we're in. A lot of us trust in a system that, that will never help us.